You and Triple yeah. H went at it once, huh? We uh, had a we nice screaming, got, uh, screaming match got, backstage. We almost got in the fight. What was yeah. it? It was a match, and then uh, Triple H decided he had to stop it because of medical reasons? Yeah. So what had happened was I was... Um, I had gotten a stinger in a in a match and lost feeling in my um in both arms. Um so that's, scary. that's some scary shit. Man. The left one came back pretty quick. The right one was still just kind of flopping by my side. I have a mentality <laughs> of uh I have a mentality of never stopping a, a match yeah. for for any reason. And whether that's good or bad, it's it, you know, that was that was my mentality. And a stinger is what like a really a hard hit that's harder than it's supposed to be? No, it's uh so something happens with your neck and you lose kind of feeling and that sort of thing. It's temporary so, paralysis. Oh. Yeah. You, yeah. Got, so, you got the old Cosby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, but you guys understand the oh. stingers to some point where you're like, "Oh, all right, this is a stinger. I know the feeling will come back." Uh yeah. You don't it, really know though. Yeah, I, I mean, it was it was just faith, right? Just good faith. It, it was it actually could be one where you were, it went too far and now oh fuck I'm paralyzed yeah yeah you're yeah. right it's it's literally it was my first one I'd never had a stinger before Scary. and so uh oh. so so there I am with my arm dangling and trying to finish this match and the Triple H tells the medical doctor that who's at ringside because he's asking me if I'm okay and I'm like yeah I'm fine you know leave me alone and he's like. So then they tried to stop the match, and then I sprinted into the ring after they tried to stop the match and tried to keep the match going. And I'm with Randy Orton. I'm wrestling Randy Orton and try to because this was this was going to be like probably the biggest win of my career up to that point. Did you tell him that you had one? Like, did he know that you were? A little... I th no. Uh, what happened was I did a drop. So I did a dive out of the ring. My head hit the hit the barricade, and then that's where. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> well, and so, um, so that happened, but I felt fine. I felt a little thing in my arm. But then I went to the top rope and did a top rope drop kick. And the top rope drop kick is actually harder on me than it is on my opponent. What happens is I do it and I kick him, but then from that elevation, I just land on my back. And when I landed on my back, I couldn't get up. And I was just like there, and I couldn't, I couldn't, no, move, that's scary my, shit. I couldn't move my, my arms. And uh, Randy, who was like, <laughs> he's on the ground going, Dan, Dan, what's going on? Dan and Dan, uh, he was cussing, but he was like, "What the f are you doing?" You know what I mean? And yeah. like, and I just lay there, and like, the referee, like you were just doing it for fun. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and the referee was, like, "I'm planking. <laughs> this is my new move. Yeah. Relax." And the referee came over and goes, "Are you okay?" I said, "I can't move." And like, uh, but then I could move, and then so like, <laughs> you know, and so anyways, Triple H stopped the match. He had the he had the doctor stop the match, and they stopped me from finishing. And you have to understand, I've finished a match after detaching my retina. I wrestled 55. Wow. I, I, I did an hour-long match where five minutes in, I separated my shoulder and my shoulder was just, you know, there. And so, and I finished the rest of the, my match. And keep in mind that this was not in front of thousands of people. This was in front of hundreds of people. So, like, I have had this mentality of, like, you don't you stop my going. matches. Yeah. And I when I came back, I was hot. And typically, I'm very relaxed and that sort of thing. But, yeah, we... We got when I say nose to nose, I don't think that's completely accurate because he's like six three. <laughs> so like, yeah. But whatever. It nose was, to it belly was, button. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, so yeah, I, we we came pretty close. <laughs> what was his reasoning? Like you were you were fucked up. I had to do it. Yeah. yeah no. For he was literally, out for you. It, there's. Uh, it, it's kind of an older mentality, and it's the same thing with football and other sports now. Is that you know you keep playing through the through the pain, but right. now they're they're more conscious of. Uh, looking out for for the competitors, and yeah, with concussions out, and everything, yeah, with yeah. all of that stuff, yeah. they're more conscious of protecting us from ourselves because most athletes, if you let them, oh, they'll do it. They'll, they'll play, yeah, the, they'll yeah. go, and you know, and so it's, you were temporarily paralyzed, and you got mad that they stopped. It. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah and, and, and and I was mad, and so and one of the things, that, so I talk about it in the book, but one of the things that I also acknowledge that I was in the wrong. Oh. That doesn't make you. Just being wrong doesn't make you any less angry, right? That's, <laughs> you yeah, know, like, that's true. Like how many people are are wrong unjustifiably? Yeah. You know what I mean? And that was me in that in that moment. And it's like, and Bree said to me, she's like, but you know, he was right to stop that, right? You know, like you know that he did what was the correct thing. <laughs> yes. so it's, yeah, but screw him. Like you know, that was my moment. So yeah.